Well, it's really hard to do a vlog like this. It's so packed and congested, but I wanted to give you guys this information because it's all information I had to piece together through like so many different vlogs. Not an expert. I just was able to find a lot of information. I wanted to piece it together into one place for you guys. So I hope that helps you. But right now we're going to make our way after our seven rounds to drink Zem Zem water and to make two prayers in a very specific spot. I'll show you. Today we're going to do a DIY Umrah on our own as women. Saudi has now made a new rule which really excites me that women no longer need to have a muhram, a male escort. So we're going to go do it ourselves. I'll give you guys all the step by step. If you're anything like me and you've been searching all over the internet for just some clear and precise instructions, look no further. If this video helps you, be sure to leave a like and we'll go do step number one. We are in Mecca right now which means we have to exit and go to the perimeter and start our state of ihram at Masjid Aisha. Let's go. Assalamu alaikum. Masjid Aisha? Yes. How much? 50 dirham. 50 dirham, go and back. Okay, so that was actually not bad. <laughs> Going back, 50 dirham. So you make your way to Masjid Aisha. We'll do a bit of ablution, two rakas of prayer, and finally re enter the state of Ihram to enter the Kaaba. really big and beautiful, mashallah. So there's a women's wash section right in front where you can do your evolution and then you enter the masjid right there. This is the masjid that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu so she can get in the state of ihram before starting her pilgrimage, like us right now. Inshallah. It's really, really historical. It's really cool to like walk in the footsteps of those who once guided us. So one thing I think is really important for me to mention for you not to forget when you're coming, unscented soap. Very, very important. Dates and treats so that you can do sadaqah or even the pigeon. So at this point, there's many different things you have to look out for and be careful because you have to be aware of the different scents you put on your body that can break your state of ihram. So be very wary, look up the different things you can and can't do. It's different for men and women. At this point, you can go back to the hotel, freshen up, change up. Just you have to be really cautious because you're in a state of ihram and there's many different things that you can do that will break that and cause you to come back to your Mikat perimeter, Mikat perimeter or the Masjid Aisha and do your evolutions all over again. And finally, make your way to the Haram. 
Unbelievable. It's happening. I'm beginning your Umrah. This is the hotel we're staying in. I forgot to tell you guys the name. I'm gonna go find out now, I promise. But this is the proximity to the clock tower. It's just right there. So you, you just walk right here and it's literally like it's a minute and a half, I promise. It's not that hard. It's just hard walking back from doing Umrah. <laughs> but Alhamdulillah, we thank God always for giving us strength and giving us a chance to do that. Just grab your bath now, grab your du'a book and head to the Haram. Telling you this little book, all I did was copy paste it off a website. I'll share it with you guys because it's really helpful. And it just keeps you in check because once you get there, you get really confused and overwhelmed and you forget a lot of things that you don't want to forget, so. Always, mashallah. Mashallah. As soon as you get close to the building, it's like so cold. The air sea is just flooding, flooding out of the haram. Mashallah. Well, it's really hard to do a vlog like this, especially because it's so packed and congested. But right now we're gonna make our way after our seven rounds. We're gonna go do two rak as a prayer in a specific spot and drink them some water. I'll show you now. Now my favorite, we get to go drink the holiest, most blessed waters, Semsem water. It's a never ending spring. It cures all sickness and heals all. Alhamdulillah. Medawa, stand to the side, face the qibla, make your du'as, and carry on. So that's one. Now Medawa back to Safa will be another one. Seven times. At your own pace, for men there's other requirements. You can also look it up. It's meant to be easy. Allah made this easy for us if you, if you pray for it.
So there will be times where the call to prayer happens in the middle of your umrah. And simple as that, you just stop where you are, remember your count, pray with everyone as unity is the most important, and then you resume back into your umrah. Okay, so this is the end where we can finally say Alhamdulillah and exit your state of Ahram. Magic scissors. And I actually saved the ponytail real close just for this event. There you go. Alhamdulillah, Umrah is done. If you like this video, if you found it beneficial, I simply ask for you to make dua. And inshallah, Allah will give you your chance to make it to the holy city of Mecca. Right.